All right, you guys, ZFR back here, and I just want to talk really quickly about Microsoft's E3 press conference for 2018, and this press conference has to be one of the best press conferences I remember, and at the same time, be one of the most disappointing, which is a really weird combination for me like I was really impressed with this press conference at the same time it left a lot to be desired still so I'm going to kind of get into what I mean by that and stuff but just a quick heads up I'm not going to go over every single game that they sold off and everything for a simple reason there's just so many of them and I'll get into why I'm not going to talk about every single one of them more in a second so let me just start by saying that no matter how you cut it, in my opinion, this was a good E3 press conference. This was a good one. I mean, if I had to give it a score, I would probably give it like a 7 or 8. Um, the conference sold a lot of new stuff for the first time. We got to see a lot of new games that we did uh, that we haven't gotten to see before. Um, the... There were some Xbox exclusives there. We got a lot more exclusives announced. So Xbox fans, you finally got something to look forward to over there, which has been the big problem with the Xbox lately. Um, and then on top of that, we just got a lot of world premieres and stuff. One of the bit, one of the best parts of the conference for me was definitely that Cyberpunk trailer. As for those of you who watch the channel and stuff you know i've been waiting for that cyberpunk trailer for a long time a part of me wanted gameplay but at the same time it was like it's cg project red you know they weren't you you had to already know they weren't about to give you a full out gameplay demo just quite yet they're gonna wait and probably do that on their own time or do that next year depending on how long it takes for us to get that game but um yeah that looked amazing but overall the conference was really good that's the point and the thing about microsoft getting the new new studios and stuff they finally got some more studios so they're going to be pumping out even more exclusive games pretty soon so there's a lot to look forward to there is a lot to look forward to in the future if you're an xbox fan but in the near future like within the next year or so I'm not going to lie, I was kind of disappointed with what we were shown. And here's the thing. They sold a lot of really good games tonight. There were a lot of really good trailers and stuff. I mean, just to name a couple stuff like The Division, that we got to see that. Um, what's something else they sold? They sold Devil May Cry. Like I said, Cyberpunk was amazing. Dying Light 2 looked awesome. For people who care, Just Cause 4, um, I still haven't played any of the Just Causes. I need to get, I need to um, try out 3. I think I do have it, um, even though people say it's trash. But then we have Saddle of the Tomb Raider. Um, a bunch of different stuff got announced, right? A ton of different stuff. Um, so with that being said, there's a lot to be excited about within the next couple years in terms of gaming. But sadly, the one thing you may notice while going through this list is a lot of the bigger, uh, more impressive looking titles aren't Xbox exclusives. And this is where I ran into my problem with this conference. This conference, just like the last one, just like the one before that, they only had one game. That's right. One game. And let's see, was this even the last conference or was it the one... Back in 2016 um, that I'm thinking of. I don't remember if it was 2016 or 2017 when they sold Gears 4. But this conference only had one thing that made me want to actually go out and get Xbox within the next year or two years. And that was Gears of War 5. Now, I'm going to make a whole separate video about Gears of War 5 because I see some people throwing some shade its way. And I'm going to make a video defending that game because that game looked freaking amazing to me. I'm, I'm actually kind of hyped about that. I might have to consider picking up an Xbox for that game. But at the same time, I'm really 
really hoping that between now and then we get a few more exclusives announced. You know, something. I don't want to be out here buying an Xbox or one game. That doesn't make any sense to me. You know, if that happens, I'm probably going to play it, enjoy it, and then, you know, trade it back in or whatever. But, you know, hopefully that it doesn't come to that. Hopefully some more games get announced and some more games end up coming out before Gears of War um, 5 comes out. Or at least around the same time or after it comes out. Because Gears of War 5, without doubt, was the best thing at the conference for me. I, I'm a big Gears of War fan. I know I... I know I, I'm a big Sony guy right now, or at least I'm a big PlayStation guy. I'm really loving the exclusives over here on PlayStation. But back in the day, Gears of War was, I don't mean to say back in the day like I was, like I'm old or something, but back last generation when I got my first Xbox 360, Gears of War was the reason. Gears of War was the very first game I played on that Xbox 360, and I loved it, and the Gears games were absolutely some of my favorite games from last generation without doubt, so I'm super hyped about that Gears 5. I can't wait to see more of that, but what they sold was pretty good, but like I said, I'll get into all that more in a different video. But other than that, in terms of exclusives, we had Ori. I mean, that was nice and everything, but you know, I'm you know, I'm not really about that side scroller life. But I hear Ori's pretty good, so I'm not gonna hate on it. You know, for the people that like that kind of thing, there you go. That sounds great. Um, we also had we got Forza. I'm not gonna lie, I I'm not interested at all in racing games. Um, to be honest, I would probably get bored pretty quickly playing Forza, but I'm not going to lie. Forza Horizon 4 looks pretty good. Like that shared, that whole shared world thing and then the seasons and stuff. The trailer, the demo they sold was pretty good. So I can't hate on it too much. It, it was just good. That's all I can really say about, but I'm pro, but I'm definitely not going to be picking it up. Maybe who knows? It all depends on you if I even end up getting an Xbox Switch. If I do, once again, main reason will be Gears. Um, PUBG has some new content coming to Xbox, which is weird to me because I don't remember hearing anybody saying that PUBG is fixed on Xbox. So, you know, I'm not even going to give that one any credit at all. They sold Jump Force, which looked interesting if you like anime. Um... I don't really know. Some people are saying it didn't look too hot to them. Um, but at the same time, it the concept of it looked pretty good. So I'm in, I'm kind of interested to see where that goes. But yeah, I can keep going on. And the only other exclusive thing that I actually really care about was Black Desert. Um, it I, and I don't even really care about this game. I don't really know anything about this game. But every time I see it, it looks interesting. In the trailer they had tonight, kind of piqued my interest. The story sounds very unique. Sounds very interesting. So Xbox had a decent amount of stuff, right? They had a decent amount of stuff. Oh yeah, and they had the um fake out skate game and then the Cuphead um DLC. So if you're into those. Not my type of thing, but whatever, if you're into them. So overall, they didn't have a bad conference. They definitely did way, way better this year. Definitely their best conference so far this generation, right? Um, they announced a lot of new games. A lot of them that are exclusives. Well, if you want to call them exclusives, I know some people are on the whole, well, you can get them on PC train. So, you know... If you look at it like that, fine. If you don't, whatever. For me, like, I, I it kind of doesn't matter. I don't have a PC or Xbox right now, so whatever I decide to get. Um, but either way, the conference was good. But once again, those exclusives, man, the exclusives just are what was killing it for me. Like, they. Not a lot of these Xbox exclusives just don't look like something I would be interested in. There was something else with a freaking Fox. I didn't really pay too much attention to it. 
just because I simply didn't have the mental capacity at that point. Like, I I just completely said screw it, and like I just blanked out when they had that fox up there. So with that being said, yeah, I don't really care. I really don't care about it. Um, so with that being said, the only exclusives that I'm actually looking forward to or that look interesting to me on the Xbox coming up is Gears of War 5 and Black Desert. Is that it? Yeah, Black Desert looks kind of interesting now. So I'm going to be checking some more of that game out. And I might even make a video on that, but I'm definitely making a video on Gears 5. But overall, if I had to give this conference a score, this would definitely be like a 7 out of 10, a 8 out of 10. I, I'm going to go ahead and be generous and give them an 8. I think they really tried this year. They really um made some big improvements. And overall, after this conference, Xbox is in a much better place than it was before the conference. So with that being said, good for Xbox. Good for Xbox fans, Xbox owners right now. Um, Hopefully, I once again become an Xbox owner. And, you know... I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be doing some Gears content on the channel if that happens, definitely without a doubt. Um, but overall, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave likes and comments and all that down below. Hit the dislike button if you hated the video or you hate my guts or whatever. Feel free to do whatever you need to do. But either way. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. ZFR out.